वेलकम बैक टू लर्न इकोनॉमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ कांसेप्ट ऑफ बिग पुश थ्योरी मूव टू दिस थ्योरी वी कैन सी दैट दिस हैज बीन फॉर्मुलेटेड बाय अ वेरी फेमस इकोनॉमिस्ट प्रोफेसर रोडन और प्रोफेसर पॉल एंड प्रोफेसर रोडन इन द ईयर ऑफ 1943 एंड एज पर दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्योरी प्रोफेसर रोडन सेज दैट वी नीड अ लार्ज कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रोग्राम वी नीड अ बुक बिग काइंड ऑफ पुश in order to have growth as well as development in the nation so this kind of a big push and or this kind of a program or high minimum amount of investment is needed so as to overcome the obstacles which are there in the path of development and only after dealing with the obstacles only after removing the obstacles we could launch a path of economic growth and this is a main argument which has been provided by rosestein roden in his big push theory he always believed that giving some kind of isolated efforts giving some kind of small efforts this will not be sustaining the economic growth the impact that this kind of isolated or small effort would be having on the economy would be very much little and if you need a sustained impact on economic growth what we need is again a big push so he always considered the critical ground speed which must be passed before the air, passed before the craft can become airborne so he says that rather than going for a bit by bit approach it is very much needed to go for a big push what he meant by big push is that we need a high critical amount of investment and that would be the only way out of the challenges that is being faced by the developing economies he has based his theory on four different kinds of invisibilities the first is invisibility with respect to production function then invisibility with respect to demand then invisibility with respect to supply of savings and also some psychological invisibilities let's discuss each of these in the detailed manner moving to the first invisibility in the invisibility that is invisibility in the production function so we have to consider consider something called inputs here because we know that when it comes to production q or output is a function of different inputs it will constitute labor capital technology and so many isn't it so indivisibility of inputs of factors of production will be leading to increasing returns and that is what rodin has told and the most important form of these kinds of indivisibilities would be something like power transport communication technology etc which rosestein rodin has called as the social overhead capital and the social overhead capital will be having certain characteristic features and what are these so it would be irreversible in time that means investment in social overhead capital must precede investment in directly productive activities and also coming to social overhead capital it has got some minimum durability again the gestation period that is there with social overhead capital is something that is not short but long then it has an irreducible minimum industry mix of different kinds of public utilities okay so these kinds of invisibilities uh, indivisibilities with respect to the social overhead capital are considered to be one of the important challenge to the path of economic development and these kinds of challenges are need to be removed in order to go for development and how can we remove this it can be removed only by having a lump sum investment which processing rodin called as big push next we have to consider the indivisibility of demand 
capital investment when it comes to underdeveloped economies is limited by the fact that these would be providing only small markets to producers and the size of the market is very much important when it comes to development when the market size is small this would be generating something called uncertainties and this will create obstacles to the path of the prospective investors this will be discouraging the prospective investors because there exists a risk element with uncertainty and industries which would work as complementaries to each other are set up simultaneously that is what we needed that is what we need in order to go for a big push we know that different different industries are related to each other one industry would be depending on several industries several other industries for raw materials for uh, market etc and for the very same reasons industries which would act as complementaries to each other should be considered simultaneously and indivisibility of demand would require simultaneous large investment in these industries we have to consider all these industries in a simultaneous fashion and go for large investment in these industries simultaneously so moving to the indivisibility in supply of savings what we could see is that a large quantum of investment requires a large volume of savings and this would be difficult when it comes to underdeveloped economy and why this is because of their low income it is only with income you can go for saving if income increases you can increase saving as well and when income falls down saving too will be coming down isn't it and small increase in income consequent upon small additional investment and this would be mostly consumed and for the very same reason what we require is a lump sum investment and when it comes to lump sum investment it will be providing additional income to the development of the economy and this additional income will be increasing the saving as well isn't it moving to the next invisibility that is the psychological invisibility again rossetti rodden told that some isolated small efforts which happen in bit by bit fashion will not be doing anything when it comes to growth and development what we need is a large lump sum investment and that is very much important to reap something called the external economies of scale and this will be helping the developing economies to come out of the problems come out of the challenges and this will make development possible in underdeveloped economies but the concept of big push approach or the big push theory given by processing rodden is not free from criticisms this theory received a lot many criticism from various angle main has argued that this theory gives greater emphasis to big efforts and large quantum investment and it always neglects the problem of shortages because when it comes to underdeveloped economies there are these these countries or these nations will suffer from a problem called scarcity of resources and it is something that is very much difficult for these economies to go for a big push approach and there exists less availability of dynamic entrepreneurs skill labor capital etc in these economies which again will create problems in the path of big push ls another another person who has pointed that the the theory of big push would be ignoring something called shortage of saving and we consider that with increase in income we can go for increase in saving isn't it but shortage of saving is another important problem which will be creating risk for investments that is another important problem with the big push approach which would be creating lot many market imperfections and structural obstacles this theory always assumes that we have to go for simultaneous development of different sectors 
in order to reap the external economies of scale. <coughs> But is it possible when it comes to a developed economy or uh, sorry, a developing economy? The answer is no. Especially this will not be possible in the short run. The possibility of external diseconomies is something that has not been considered by Rosestein Rodin, which is another important point that has been considered as a critical point in the theory of a push approach. The theory always gave emphasis to lumpiness of investment. Small amount of investment is ignored and development of agriculture is also ignored when it comes to big push approach. But we have to understand that when it comes to industrial development, agriculture cannot be set away from industry because for many, many industries, it depends upon agriculture sector for fetching raw materials, isn't it? So, a kind of depressed agricultural state was considered by Rosestein Rodin, which is identified as one, one of the next critical point. Main was against considering the difficulties that would be experienced with respect to coordination of various complex developmental plans in order to proceed with big push and sometimes problems of coordination will create so many administrative related problems administrative inefficiency would be created inefficiency okay also, the governments would be facing so many difficulties when it comes to simultaneous uh, progress of different different plans. Execution of different developmental projects at the same time would be acting as a very, very important challenge to the part of the government. In front of the government, going for the execution and implementation of different programs and policies in different fields of uh, economic analysis would act as a challenge or it will appear as a problem for the government and this will be creating delays this would be creating departures this would be creating so many so many problems especially this will be creating hurdles in front of the government to finish all the projects within the stipulated time framework Jacob Wiener, another economist, he has pointed out that when it comes to external economies or indivisibilities uh, in reduction of cost as well as expanding output, we have to consider various aspects of development. The theory of big push, however, explains the cost reduction aspect but ignores the output expansion aspect which is another point of criticism here. Adler, another famous economist, has criticized the theory on the ground that it ignores the importance of small investment. Again, the big push theory is neglecting the bit by bit investment. It considers only lump sum investment. The statistical analysis of economic development always reveals that relatively low level of investment pays off well in the form of something called additional investment. To sum up, what we can see is that even though this approach of big push consists of so many, so many limitations, the big push approach is something that is still considered as necessary for the transformation of a country from a developing economy to a developed economy. So, that is all regarding the big push approach taken by Rosestein Rodin. That's all about today. Thank you for watching. You can join free our Telegram community for your doubt clearance and discussions. I'll be providing the link of the same in the description box. And also you can download our Learn Economia app for study materials and previous year question papers. And for this also I'll be providing the link of 
the very same in the description box. And I request you to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.